Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that we would kind of just get ready together today and I would show you guys my quarantine makeup routine. Um, this is kind of like my everyday routine, very minimal, like no makeup makeup look. Actually, I should not say minimal because I still do use a bunch of products, but it's a very like natural look, I guess. Um, and this is actually really cool too because it is perfect for when quarantine is over and everybody can go back to work. Things that are maybe a little bit more appropriate for work or moms who are busy or those people that just don't prefer a full on smoky eye or cut crease. I get a lot of requests for kind of no makeup, makeup looks. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is just gonna be very, very chill. We're just gonna sit, get ready, chat a little bit, hang out. And I'm going to share with you some of my favorite products to get that kind of like effortless, natural, no makeup, makeup look. <laughs> So my skin has been like drier than the Sahara lately for some reason. I don't know if because the weather's changing or what is going on, but I'm gonna start with the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I love this just for some extra added hydration. So I'm just gonna generously spritz this all over my face and give that a second to kind of soak in. The only thing is I like drench my hair whenever I do this. For primers today, I'm actually gonna be using two. Again, like I said, my skin has been really, really dry, just like dying for some hydration. So I'm probably gonna use a mix of this Marc Jacobs coconut primer situation, and then I'm gonna go in with my Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Um, this step, I just use whatever primer my skin needs at the moment. Um, you can use something pore filling or you can use no primer. A lot of people don't need primer or like believe in primer. And I'm just going to evenly work this into the skin. So how's quarantine been treating everyone? Are you just having the best time? I'm actually enjoying it because like you guys saw, I'm really excited. My husband finally, well, We'll get into that in a second. But my husband finally came home from deployment and he was on quarantine for 14 days. So it gave us basically like 14 free days just to like force us to spend time together. And it was just like actually perfect timing. I'm not gonna lie. We've been loving it. Just hanging out and getting to know each other again. It's so nice. So now that that's worked into the skin, I'm gonna go in with kind of my foundation. So when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, I typically, you guys are gonna be shocked because you know I love full coverage products, but I typically go for like a CC cream or a BB cream um, just because I think it's a little bit more natural. Um, and I really, really love the skin benefits um, of this one particularly. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and this is the oil-free one. They do have a regular or an illuminating one if you're a little bit more dry, but I find the matte one is still like pretty dewy. It's really not super, super matte like a full coverage foundation would be. But I really like this because it has anti-aging, it's hydrating, and it's an SPF 40. I find it now that I've been at home, I'm spending a ton of time outside, so I really have been trying super, super hard. I do wear SPF almost every day, but I've been trying to make even more of an effort to really take good care of my skin because it is getting hotter here, it's very sunny, so I've been trying to be extra careful about that. So I just kind of dotted that on my face. I'm just using like a, this is an It Cosmetics brush actually, um, but any like kabuki brush kind of situation. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with these Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Um, and so this is kind of like a liquid bronzer thing. I am self-tanned and my face doesn't quite match. So just a little extra boost. And I also really like this because it adds like, just like a really pretty glow. These have mixed reviews. I know not a lot of people like them, but I really like these mixed into my moisturizers like for no makeup whatsoever, but it does like make my face match my body then. Um, so I really like these. I think they're nice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and work that into the skin. This you will see is pretty full coverage for a CC cream. I love these. These are really great also for in the summer if you're going to the beach or like the pool or anything like that and you want a little bit of something but you don't want to wear like a full-on foundation these are really really great because like i said it does have spf in it and it is basically a moisturizer so you're hydrating your skin 
you're covering anything that might be, I mean, like, so full coverage. And honestly, when I have no makeup makeup days, like, this stuff, like, I have a little bit of scarring and some freckles and stuff like that. It doesn't even bother me because I just, you gotta embrace your skin, you know? You gotta embrace it. And this is by no means required if you don't feel like putting makeup on during quarantine, like, <laughs> I am not judging you. I have only worn makeup a handful of times. I just find sometimes putting something on my face and waking up in the morning and putting a little extra effort into my appearance just makes me feel better. And it actually makes me a little bit more productive too during the day, surprisingly. I don't know why that like correlates, but I don't know. It makes me feel better sometimes. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of concealer. Um, this is the Jeffree Star Concealer. Um, I also really love, if you want something a little bit more natural, but this is just too light for me right now. This is the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. Really, really beautiful. If you're somebody who doesn't need like super full coverage, um, I don't struggle with like severe dark under eye circles. Um, so I usually just kind of put a little bit in the corners because that's where I have the worst of it. And that's really it. I don't do anything else. When I'm going for a more natural look, I don't care to be super, super highlighted, um, but something just to make me look a little bit awake. And I really love the formula of these. I've kind of fallen back in love with them. I played with them a lot when they first came out and then kind of forgot about them a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I think they're really nice for kind of more natural not like a full-on smoky eye or anything um and also days that i don't need a ton of coverage because they are very lightweight and i don't think that they look cakey at all but as you can see i still have like a vein showing here and stuff and i'm actually okay with that i kind of want to keep it because to me it looks a little funky when you have like your skin showing under your foundation and stuff but then you have like caked on under eyes you know what I mean so I kind of try and pick products that the textures kind of go together like if I'm going with a more medium coverage foundation then I'll go in with a more medium coverage concealer just so everything looks kind of seamless and cohesive and then if you are self-conscious about like any acne or scarring or anything like that just take a concealer that's actually the same color as your skin and just dot that on and go ahead and spot conceal but I think for the most part I'm I'm pretty happy with that level of coverage. My nose is pretty red still, you can see, and that's usually the first thing to wear off on me, but I just accepted it. So I'm not gonna be baking or anything, but I do wanna kind of set my T-zone because that's usually where I get the most oily. Um, and I'm gonna take this I Heart Revolution Coconut Baking Powder, um, and I'm just going to lightly tap this under my under eyes. This stuff is really mattifying, so I just use it where I need be matte and to set my concealer. This is totally optional. If you're super dry, then you can skip the step um, if you don't need to, but I just like to kind of set everything down. Cause like I said, that CC cream is not dewy or like greasy or anything, but I find it does feel a little bit tacky if I don't set it down properly. And I just don't want any transfer or anything like that. To set the remainder of my face, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Skineralize <laughs> Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden, and I'm just taking a really fluffy brush. This is actually from e.l.f., but I love it. And I'm just gonna kinda tap that on the perimeters of my face. This doesn't really add much coverage. Um, these are pretty sheer powders, but I really like the finish. It's just very like natural and glowy looking and it just kind of sets everything in place. I love these, I carry these in my kit and use them on like everybody. I think they're so, so beautiful and totally underrated. For bronzer, I've been doing a pretty light bronze and I've been loving this Tarte Sugar Rush bronzer. Um, I tried this out in like a first impressions video and I cannot put it down. I think it's so beautiful. This is just like the prettiest like red toned like has a little bit of a sheen in it oh it's just so nice it's really pretty and warm and it just makes you look really really healthy honestly i'm just kind of slapping this on like my cheeks and forehead i'm not neat with this when i'm doing kind of like a no makeup look because i'm not contouring or anything this is literally just to add a little dimension to my face but i mean 
that's pretty much it. I'm not neat with it at all. That's why I love this look because it's so fast. You don't need like any skill whatsoever. You can just throw stuff on and you're like good to go. And also I really, really love the look of bronzer like going across my nose lately. It gives you that kind of like sun-kissed, like healthy, I just sat outside for like four hours look. Love it. And then what I will also do with this bronzer before I put it away is just take a really fluffy brush. Like this is the Morphe M504 brush and I will just swirl her in there, tap her off, and I will just kind of put this all over my eyelid. Again, not super neat. I kind of just swirl this all over the place. If you want, you can concentrate it more in like your crease or something, but I just think that it adds a little bit of color and a little bit of depth to your eyes so they don't get lost because it is a little bit more highlighted and I just throw a little bit under. This step is totally optional, really not super important, but I just think that it kind of ties everything together in a little bit more. And you can obviously skip as many steps out of this as you want. That's the cool thing about doing like a no makeup look. Like you could just use concealer and put on some brows and like be good to go. Or you could change out the CC cream for a full coverage foundation. You could contour on top of this. Like it's really whatever you have time for, whatever you feel like doing. Now I'm just gonna take MAC Warm Soul as my blush. And first of all, I love this blush because I mean, look at it. It's freaking beautiful. I use it for like every single makeup look because it's just really neutral and just has a really pretty glow to it. And it's really just so subtle and gives you like the perfect like wash of color. So I just really dust this on there. And you'll see when I do my makeup like this, like I said, I do it like super messy, like just kind of slap stuff on. It's really nice that you don't have to be like perfectly precise or anything, don't have to be super neat. And I will actually take this across the bridge of my nose as well, just to kind of emphasize that like sun-kissed look. A lot of people get nervous when I say I put blush like on my nose and stuff, but I think it just makes you look like rosy and healthy. So I'm not gonna highlight right this second. I'm gonna move on to my brows actually. And what I do is just kind of brush my brows up and I kind of, it depends. Sometimes I'll fill them in, sometimes I won't. Um, I'm gonna do a little something to them today, but if you have good brows to begin with, throw some brow gel on and you're like good to go. You can totally skip this step. Um, and also don't mind, I'm trying to take this time to really grow out my brows so they're a little bit out of control right now, but I just really wanna try and get them nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna take my Benefit Gimme Brow. I love this product because it's a tinted brow gel, but it also has some fibers in there. So if you have thinner brows, this will kind of just plump them up a little bit. And what I like to do is just kind of comb up and out. So that way you get that really nice, natural, fluffy brow. If you don't like that look, then do what you normally do or do nothing, use a clear brow gel. There's so many options, but I just really like this because I don't have to be precise with like a pencil or anything. And it just gives them like a little bit of volume and a little bit of color, but it's still super, super subtle. And I use mine in the shade three. I like kind of a more like ashy, darker brown because I usually match it to like my root color of my hair. So, I really like the look of like blonde hair and like a dark brow, but if that's not your cup of tea, they have a ton of other shades. This is just an all around great product. I use this on top of like everything, honestly, like powders, pencils, pomades. I cannot live without this stuff. So I'm actually gonna skip the lashes today. Gasp, I know. Um, and I'm just gonna apply a quick coat of mascara. Um, my lashes are still recovering from when I had lash extensions. So they are so short and spindly, so I'm trying really hard to not curl them or anything like that because I don't want to break them anymore. So I'm just gonna apply mascara. It's not gonna make a ton of difference, but whatever. Um, if you need to curl your lashes, if you have lash extensions, whatever, you can apply lashes. I really like this look with some like really pretty wispy lashes. It looks super, super good. Um, but because this is a more chill look, I'm gonna leave them off today. Oh, also, I guess I should mention the elephant in the room. Um, I'm sure a lot of you saw my post um, that we are canceling our wedding. 
just to throw that out there. Um, so first of all, let me just say we are not canceling our wedding because I don't love Nick anymore or that he doesn't love me, which looks really sketch because I just realized I'm not even wearing my ring today. Um, but it's not for those reasons at all. We decided that we had to push because of coronavirus. Um, and if you don't know, we already had to postpone once. We were supposed to get married last August, but Nick deployed. So we had to postpone and then with having to postpone again because of the coronavirus, I just, I can't plan a wedding for a third time. Like I physically, mentally cannot do it. There's no way. Um, and we have also just decided that having a big, huge wedding is just like not a priority for us anymore. We just like would rather take that money and like take a nice trip or like do improvements around the house or, you know, I don't know. So we just decided that we were not going to reschedule um and if you also don't know we are technically already married um we've been married for almost two years at this point so it's kind of crazy um we did have like a courthouse wedding just because nick graduated from school and then in order because he is in the army in order for me to be able to pcs with him and all that stuff um, we had to be married. Um, so we actually got married June 13th, 2018. So we have been married this entire time. That's kind of also the reason why this whole like rescheduling and stuff, we just opted to cancel because we're like, we're already married. Like all of our friends and family know, like I said, our priorities have just changed. Um, and we're thinking about doing kind of maybe a smaller elopement or something like that. Um, but yeah, in case you guys were curious, there will not be any more wedding planning vlogs or anything like that because the wedding is not happening. At first we were very sad. I mean, we are still sad, like it sucks, but it is what it is. You gotta take the card to your dealt and make the best of it. Um, our lives are just all over the place um, so that's why I kind of also took some time um, some personal time um, because Nick was coming home and then we had to make the decision about the wedding and it's just been a lot going on in my personal life um, so yeah I just kind of wanted to catch you up on that and kind of explain because I did um, post updates and stuff on Instagram um, so if you're interested in keeping up with our chaotic lives, um, that's usually where I post the majority of my updates and stuff because it's just easier and quicker and I'm on there all the time. Um, so if you're interested, I will definitely leave my info down below or linked somewhere around here. You can give me a follow if you want. Um, so I'm going to take this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, um, just to give myself a really glowy finish. I really like that with like a natural makeup look just looking really like fresh not dewy because I'm oily but glowy and like healthy looking so for highlight I want to do something on the more natural side which again is very rare for me um, so I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier face illuminator and this is in the shade indiscretion it's so beautiful I love it it's definitely not nearly as like blinding as it looks in the pan though. I will say that. So if you're thinking about getting this, it is not like a in your face highlight. It's really pretty and subtle. I mean, it's there, but this is like a natural highlight to me. And I always like to apply highlights after setting spray because my face is a little bit tacky and damp. And then I just find this like sets really, really nicely and gives you kind of that like metallic -y, wet foiled look so for my lips i'm going to be using the dior lip sugar scrub and this is a sweet exfoliating balm and i have mine in the shade 001 so it just looks like this it is not that bright when you apply it to your lips but it's just a scrub in like a lipstick form i don't find it super scrubby though it's just like a tiny, tiny bit. It's really not that great for exfoliating, I'm not gonna lie, but I love the color. I freaking love the color so much. And I just can't find anything that comes close to this. So if you have any suggestions, if you know of a lip color that looks like this on your lips, 
that's like a balm or whatever, let me know because I'm looking for it. And then another Dior lip product on top of that, I'm just going to, oh my God, there is an eyelash attached to this. That's so embarrassing. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer with collagen and this is, oh my God, get off. And this is in the shade 006. Um, it's just a really pretty nudie pink color. And I love this lip plumper because it plumps, but it does not burn. Not like the Too Faced. I don't think it plumps as much as Too Faced, but it also doesn't freaking hurt as much as Too Faced. And this is our finished look. I think that this is one of my favorite looks, actually, surprisingly, even though I am such a, like, all out like full coverage like crazy makeup kind of gal it feels nice every now and then to just have like refreshed pretty glowing skin with like not a ton going on it's like literally just like your skin but better i mean i don't know i feel really comfortable in this i feel like all my insecurities are still kind of covered up and it's just kind of emphasizing and playing up my features that i really want to enhance while still looking really natural but put together. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today. I really wanted to share this routine with you guys because like I said, it is perfect for every day, running errands, school, work, if you're busy, on the go, whatever. It's super easy. I can probably get this routine done in like five minutes or so. I really hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Butterflies. Oh yes, of course. Hmm?